Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Decking Around the Plug. Today we are really excited to have Ido Huang on the show. Ido is going to be talking to us about his upcoming project, the Credo Collection. But before we jump into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And ring the bell. So what's up Ido? How you doing man? Hi man. I'm good. Yeah, it's so good to have you back on the show. I mean, we just recently had you on the 24-hour episode. We're excited to to talk to you today about your new magic project. Yes. The Credo Project. Yeah, yeah the Credo Collection. Yeah. yeah. So so this is actually a really cool thing here because it's actually multiple tutorials within this kind of umbrella of the Credo Collection. Tell us a yeah. little bit about how you uh, came up with this, this idea. Right. So um, I released... Um, a project in 2018 and 2019. That one <clears throat> is my old project that I'm, that a tutorial, a tutorial project that I've been using it, I've been sharing it on my Asian tour. And then during my Asian tour, <clears throat> sorry, I, I hang out with, with magician friends and some local car, uh, community there. And then I try to came up with a new stuff that Right now, or sooner or later, you will see it and you will learn it on the Credo Collection. So um, the routine I came up two years ago, one year ago, the, the routine itself, um, for me, is more like a raw ideas. And then I have to test it. I have to test it with, with my friends, with a stranger, whether this trick really works or not. Um, and then I have to discuss and consult it with, with my friends, with my magician friends. And so far, this trick, this four trick that you're about to learn on the Credo Collection are probably my favorite tricks so far because three of the routines on this project are require only a deck of cards and it's imp totally impromptu card trick routines. And, and you can do it anytime, anywhere. And it require like, a little setup so it's nothing really uh, complicated and the last one the fourth one is a routine that works for your camera so because some people know me from my instagram magic and i told myself like okay on this project at least i have to put one camera trick magic but <laughs> still using a style of hand but it works best on camera well it can be ha uh, it can be perform live, but you know sometimes we can make a mistake. So this one probably works best for camera, for Instagram, or for YouTube. Nice. nice. No, that's and that's really uh, relevant right now because obviously with the pandemic going on, people are really trying to figure out ways to do more video magic because they can't be interacting with spectators. So the ability to kind of use something that allows them to you know, perform on YouTube or perform potentially over Zoom or something like that really gives them an, a, a different outlet versus just oh, the, yeah. uh, like you said, the deck of cards and, and the kind of impromptu card routines. Yeah. That, so, that, like, yeah. That's really exciting, man. And how long have you been kind of developing? I know you mentioned in 2018, 2019, you kind of started developing this. How long have you really known you wanted to put this together as a project? So, um, end of last year, end of 2019 um i plan and i finally like you know gather all this routine that i want to film and then i before before i really you know record it and and explain everything with the tutorial i still want to do a discussion with with some of my magician friends because i want to make sure that these tricks <clears throat> are really good secondly this trick haven't been around on the market. It's like <clears throat> we magician knows there's a lot of tutorial coming out this year. Like new tutorial every week, even every days. Like we see yeah. new projects coming out, right? I want to <clears throat> I don't want to to people to think like, oh Edo just like took these ideas and then using it for his own. I want I want to be hundred percent legit that <clears throat> this trick really really um really um original not really original like um really it's not it's not copy from from other other magician or other people project um right. and then on january 2020 i filmed this project with my friends before indonesia uh, has a lockdown 
So I'm quite lucky. I film everything and I finished all the all the production of this project before the lockdown. Nice. And this project probably for me, I put all the effort on this project because if if all the viewers own my previous project, most of the tutorial, the video tutorial are homemade production. Um, I'm using my tripod, my camera, or even my my smartphone to record all this thing. Um, but this one, I really went out with, with my friends, with the cameraman, with the videographer, and I met a stranger and I perform it and I put it on uh, as a live performance. So That's people awesome. can really see how the trick works on the live performance, not only, uh, you know, on the studio performance, because like on the studio performance, you can recreate the the emotion or you can recreate the um, the spectators, you know. But when you perform on live performance, uh, you don't know what happened. Yeah. All the reaction, all the everything are impromptu. So this project, I include the live performance, also the verbal explanation and the, you know, the slow motion follow along the tutorial. So I want to make sure with my bad English, <laughs> I, I know I'm, I don't have really good English. I want to, I try my, I, I try my best to, to explain everything uh, to the audience, to the, uh, to the viewers, step by step, so they can understand um, the tricks from the beginning until the finish. So oh, first dude. off, your English is a lot better than you yeah, give yourself credit definitely. for. You, you do phenomenal. So first off, definitely have more confidence in your English ability because you're perfectly understood. But I think that's really great that you're taking the time and energy to really make sure that everything is as understandable as possible. And that's exciting to kind of see the production value increase on this one. That must have been a, a fun experience for you. Yes. And when I, when I, and also I, I record this uh, project at my studio that no longer there because like me and my wife decided to, to close down the studio because of the pandemic. And probably this, um, this project, you know, it's the last memory where I can see uh, my studio because um, somewhere in March or May, we decided to close down because because of the pandemic hit Indonesia. And I told my wife, like, um, we cannot, we cannot uh, went to the studio and there's a lot of, you know, clients that, that, that um, no longer with us right now. So we have like slightly less income, so we cannot afford to, to run a, a studio. So we, we decided to, to close down and move everything to, to our home. So yeah, this project really mean a lot to me and my wife. And yeah. also for the community here in, the, the magic community here in Indonesia, because um, the studio where I work with my wife is also a home uh, for the magic community in, uh, in Indonesia, because and it's, uh, and it's, uh, every time we want to hang out uh, when we do jamming with the Magic and the Card District community, we never have a place to hang out because some places not allow cards, like you say, um, that have like this kind of stigma of gambling and and, and bad things about about cards. Yeah. So I finally I finally provide a home for the community but sadly well you know uh, we cannot you know during the pandemic we cannot meet each other and also yeah there's no point for for hanging out offline so that's another reason that we also closed down the the studio so like, yeah it's quite sad but we're moving on yeah it sounds like something really uh great uh, has come from it you know and and the fact that you do um, you know, kind of a performance with a stranger is really cool because a lot of people don't do that in their tutorials. You know, to to see that will be really um, helpful. You know, to to see how to really um, you know perform it, uh, not just to someone who's already in on it. You know, yes. so that, that's a good addition for sure. Yeah, and I think it's nice too because a lot of times when you, like you said, you know, a lot of times when you see those studio performed tutorials it's being performed to other magicians. And so I think a lot of times while the reactions are probably still genuine, they're not as 
they're not as uh, representative of what you would actually see performing something out to a stranger who has zero magic background or minimal magic right. background because there is such a amplified reaction, which I think is cool. And and taking that into account really allows people to gauge how they can expect people to react, whether they do it well, whether they need to practice more. Yeah. That's so cool. And so where which, uh, which site is this going to be available on? So <clears throat> I built a site called gumroad.com slash So uh, I guess a lot of uh, magician that release independent uh, project is selling their product on the Gumroad. So I think it's, it's been like a few years I, I, I built my Gumroad site. So all the projects will be live on the gumroad.com slash edohuang. And uh, later I will give you the, the link for, for the creative collection uh, link. Nice. And we will drop both of those links in the description down below so that everyone can check them out and ch see, el see what else that Ido has on his uh, gum road, such as the Ido Huang monthly membership there. Yeah. Should, should we talk about the membership a little bit? Yeah, we can talk about the membership. Go for it. Yeah. So um, the membership also, uh, my other project that for me personally, I want to challenge myself during the pandemic because um, People say 2020 is more like the most horrible year, <laughs> yeah. right? But yeah. for me personally, this year is a year where I can learn a lot, um, find myself and, you know, um, understanding who I am and doing things that I never been able to do on the past few years. So, as you can see, as you and as some of the viewers know, I start my YouTube channel somewhere in August. After like few years, uh, people say like, "Edo, you should have a YouTube channel." No, man, I'm too busy with works. Edo, you should you should start your YouTube channel. Yeah, I, I I have a YouTube channel, but I'm never using it. And finally, this year, I've been able to you know re restarted my YouTube channel. Yeah. And then the, the membership too, it's like, I want to challenge myself to, can I come up? Yes, I did a lot of magic videos on my Instagram, but some of them are, are belongs to someone. I don't want to steal their, their, their stuff, but some of them are my, my ideas, my, my tricks. Right. Uh, it, it's a good thing. Not every, not, not all the tricks will be revealed on the membership, but it's a good thing if I can challenge myself to release at least two new tutorial every month. The total of the video that the, the subscriber will, be relieved, will receive is, is tr uh, are, are three tutorial. Two of the, of the videos are, are a culture tutorial. The third one, sometimes it's a bonus tutorial or it's a theory. It's a, more like, a, like an essay, like I told, Nice. I share with them about my creative process, about how I can come up with these ideas or that idea, how you can explore about this specific routine, how you can explore more, how you can find opportunities on, on this routine or on that routine, because I don't want people only to learn what I teach, but I want, to, I want them to you know, take these ideas and expand it into into another routine or more interesting routine maybe my routine is good enough but if i can throw this routine to them and they can recreate something much better for me it's it's a good thing and for me it's a it's like yeah you finally can figure out maybe the problem that i never been solved you you finally can 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 solve it or maybe you can come up with something better that's what i want from this membership and i also create the like a chat group on the whatsapp the whatsapp group so you know they can consult they can discuss we can talk about about anything not only right. things from the membership but also things from from you know anything any magic related stuff that's nice. cool yeah that's really cool that allows them a wide variety just from you know the membership or uh, or whatever, you know, that's, that's cool. Now, how much is, um, is the Credo collection? The Credo is going to be $18. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. 
That's a great deal for four routines there. And I really yeah. like the fact that you mentioned with your membership, and I think you mentioned this as well with the Credo Collection, the fact that the Credo Collection is raw. To me, that really allows people to have the ability to customize and make it their own and make it unique. And it sounds like the same idea exists within your membership as well. Like you said, you're really trying to teach people how to think and theorize instead of just giving them a gimmick or a trick that they can go out and perform exactly as you taught them. I really like that aspect of it because I think a lot of times in magic these days, people say, hey, here's something I can give you. Go <laughs> out, use it exactly like this, and you'll get this reaction every time. And that's A, not true, but also yep. B, it limits the growth because then you have this reliance on I need the newest gimmick to become a good magician. And in reality, becoming a good magician means understanding the principles and maybe creating your own gimmicks or customizing gimmicks that you get or customizing yep. routines that you get and really being able to build on it and make it your own. Yeah, because like um, not only uh, from this project, when here in Indonesia, I also uh, teaching some of the students. So I also have like an online and offline court magic course. Nice. Um, that course, um, I also do a similar stuff with them. I never, almost never tell them to do specific routine that I do. Um, I told them I will share with you. I will, I will, I will teach you all the foundation of, of magic. If you like, for me, I specialize more into card magic. So I will share with you all the basic, all the, all the basic uh, card trick, card slide that you need. So you have a good foundation. So when you go out, you can start building your own routine. You know, I don't want, I don't want to be the person who like, okay, this is how you do ambitious card routine. This is the step A, B, C, D, E. You have to go through the same pattern. I don't want, I don't want to be that kind of person. I want them to, to explore what kind of ambitious card routine that they really like, how how many times their card goes raised to the top, how many times that 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 you want to make the routine long, how, how long the routine will, will last, it's totally up to them. I just want to right. uh, teach them <clears throat> the the basic routine, the basic slide. So the rest is totally up to them. I want I, I don't want to limit their imagination because like kids they have a very good imagination. Maybe some tricks I've never been discovered, they can discover. I don't want, I don't want to, to you know, limit their imagination. I want them to explore more. Yeah, that's really, you know, that's awesome. yeah, for yeah. sure. Well, for anyone who's wondering too, by the time this airs, Gum, you should be able to find Credo Collection on gumroad.com slash Ido Huang. So we're going to link to that down below. We're going to also link to the project itself and the membership because they all sound like just such phenomenal ideas. And I really, you know, like we said, I think it's amazing the way you approach teaching magic. You know, it's, I think it's an ongoing discussion in the magic community that anyone can try to teach magic, but the way you go about teaching magic is really important, especially for the creativity, like you said, and the longevity of people within the community. Obviously, teaching magic, the, the goal is not only to share your knowledge, but to spark an interest in someone that's a lifelong thing, not just a fleeting kind of hobby. And I think a lot of what you do magic-wise really touches on those important aspects to make sure someone's getting into this as more than just a fleeting hobby. Yep. Yeah. So for anyone interested, check out the Credo Collection at gumroad.com slash Ido Huang. The links will be down below. And if you don't follow Ido on social media, we will also drop his Instagram and YouTube links down below as well because you should definitely check him out. He has some amazing content. And Ido is also an amazing card designer on top of it all. So check out, <laughs> check out some of his decks, perform some amazing magic, and let's check it out, right? Yeah, heck yeah, dude. Thank you so much. We look forward to uh, seeing the collection and uh, and good luck. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah thank you so much, Ida. We really appreciate you coming on to tell us about it, and we're uh, wishing you the most success with this. It sounds like an amazing project. Thank you so much for having me. No, our pleasure. Absolutely, man. Thank you, everyone out there. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Peace.